Hello and welcome to our introduction to JMAG version 12. My name is Dave Farnia and I'm in charge of technical sales in North America. I want to thank everyone for attending and I'm excited to demonstrate some of the new features available in JMAG. We'll be touching on a number of different features today, so please feel free to contact your local PowerSys office if you have any questions on anything you see. Contact information will be available at the end of the presentation. During today's webinar we'll cover three main topics. First, we'll go through the new features available in JMAG Designer. Next, we'll look at what changes were made to JMAG Express. And finally, we'll look at JMAG Virtual Test Bench, where a number of major advancements have been made. JMAG Designer version 12 has many new features. First and foremost, we have added a simple optimization program, which works for both geometry and parameter optimization. On the geometry creation side, we've added an automatic coil end turn generation feature and a Boolean geometry generator. Magnetic field analyses capabilities have been improved by adding a tool to simulate eddy currents formed in lamination steels. We've also added a feature to easily create harmonic input currents as well as a magnetostriction analyses tool. Piezoelectric analyses can also be performed when coupling to the structural analysis module. Once you've generated results, a number of new features will help you with post-processing. JMAG can now perform FFT analyses of distribution quantities, compare multiple results in a single display, perform statistical analyses on distribu distribution plots, and separate magnetic field and flux density based on the initial magnetization direction. The GPU processing algorithm has also been improved to help reduce analysis time. On the meshing side, JMAG version 12 has improved the slide mesh generator for non-uniform air gap geometries added a partial meshing tool, and made it easier to export nodal force calculation settings when performing a sectional analysis. For materials, JMAG has improved the database by adding the demagnetization characteristics of Alnico magnets, made it easier to import and export custom materials, and you can now apply magnetic material properties based on a demagnetization analysis. Setting your analysis conditions is also easier thanks to a volume calculation tool. You can also select single parts and apply an insulation condition in 2D models. When running a coupled analysis, JMAG version 12 has added a power source in addition to the standard voltage and current sources available in a circuit. You can also change the analysis frequency as a function of analysis time and use multiple frequencies in thermal heating problems. We also added a subcycling tool when coupling multiple analyses with dramatically different time constants. In JMAG RT, all the system models have been improved and the RT viewer has also made many improvements. Finally, JMAG version 12 now has a multi-purpose file export tool that can export force or temperature data to third-party software programs. We'll be covering a lot of these features during the remainder of this presentation, but again, if any of these features is of important to, importance to you, please feel free to contact us. To begin today's presentation, let's look at the optimization tool. This feature functions much like the parametric analysis tool, except that you will need to specify an objective function and constraints. The first step is to select the parameters you want to optimize. Then you constrain the range of possible values for those parameters and set an objective function. Next you run the analyses, and the results are then summarized in a graph that shows every test point. You can then click on any of these test points to open the actual JMAG model and perform further analysis. The optimization tool is a good way to quickly iterate on a design and see how those design changes have altered the results. The next new feature is the coil end modeling tool. JMAG Designer can now automatically generate coil end turns, which allows you to account for end winding leakage and inductance in your motor designs. Multiple patterns are available. As far as the coil type goes, we have concentric, spiral, and polygonal. For those cross sections of the windings, we have round or rectangular. Boolean geometry creation is also possible in JMAG. This allows you to add, subtract, or merge two components. In this example, a reactor core is subtracted from a rectangular solid body to form a body representing the surrounding space. This component is now an independent body that you can apply different material conditions or analysis properties too. The Boolean feature would also be useful to resolve mesh conflictions due to geometry interferences or small gaps between components. JMAG Designer can now simulate the effects of eddy currents and lamination steels. 
Previously, you would have had to model each individual lamination and apply resistivity to those components. This process is accurate, but requires a very large model with a very precise mesh. Now you can apply this condition to either a 3D solid body or 2D model in JMAG and automatically calculate the eddy currents within the lamination. This works well for calculating losses, but it, the effects will also apply to parameters such as torque and flux. Effectively, this is a, a dynamic loss calculation tool that actually reflects those losses on the parameters that you are measuring. In JMAG, it is now easier to generate harmonic currents with the Harmonic Current Construction Tool. In the dialog, you list the harmonic frequencies and amplitudes, and JMAG will create the harmonic current. In this example, you can see the effects of a harmonic current on the iron losses. On the left side, we see just the fundamental waveform applied to the stator. On the right hand side, though, we can see the effects of harmonics on the iron losses. Speaking of losses, it is now possible to apply insulation conditions in 2D models. This eliminates the need to model small air spaces representing electrical isolation. You can simply apply the insulation condition on the region edges or specify the number of divisions in a conductor. In this example, we added 12 divisions to a magnet and measured the joule losses. These magnet divisions have had a major effect on the total magnet losses. When you generate harmonic currents, it is sometimes useful to separate results by harmonic frequency. In JMAG version 12, you can now take distribution quantities, such as contour, vector, and flux line plots, and display their values as a function of harmonic order. In this example, we plot the magnetic flux density and then run the tool to generate flux density vector plots at various harmonic orders. This allows us to see how each harmonic frequency affects the results. Besides separating distribution quantities by harmonic frequency, we can now examine differential distributions from different cases and studies. In this example, we are testing how the magnetic configuration affects torque production. So we have two studies with slightly different magnet configurations, and we want to have a better visual on how they differ. In JMAG version 12, we can subtract one study from the other study. So, if the study on the left is the original model, and the study just to its right is a modified geometry, we can subtract the two and see what the differential flux density is. Now, we can visualize how the modified magnet configuration affects flux distribution in the machine. The final tool to help visualize distribution quantities is the statistical processing tool. If we are looking at a parameter such as the permeance coefficient of this component, this tool can tell us the average value, minimum and maximum values, range, integral, and area above or below a certain value for this complete component. JMAG version 12 can also model the magnetostriction effect. When you link the electromagnetic analysis to a structural analysis, you can model the effects of magnetostriction on the noise and vibration of the model. This allows you to separate the noise generated from the electromagnetic vibrations from the noise generated from other structural effects. Speaking of coupled analyses, JMA can also run the electrostriction and current generated in piezoelectric elements. You can evaluate stress and strain induced by an applied voltage or measure the electric field generated by motion. When you are studying the magnetization of permanent magnets, it is helpful to separate the reverse magnetic field and flux density during initial magnetization. This will allow you to check for demagnetization and permeance coefficient distribution across the magnet after initial magnetization. When you're actually running the magnets in their application, they can undergo permanent magnet demagnetization due to large fields or high temperature. If your design experiences these effects, you can now apply the modified magnetic material properties to your base model to measure how the permanent demagnetization has affected performance. In this example, we use a surface permanent magnet that is running in a motor at 140 degrees C and undergoes permanent demagnetization. The initial cogging torque shows a peak value of 0.05 newton meters. After demagnetization, we retest the cogging torque at the rated temperature and we see that we have a peak value now of 0.015 newton meters. So running the motor under load at 140 degrees C has resulted in permanent demagnetization that has had a non-trivial effect on performance even when bringing the temperature back to its lower or rated operating point.
As far as meshing goes, JMEG version 12 has made a major improvement in the capabilities of the slide mesh generator. In previous versions, the slide mesh could only be used in models with uniform air gaps. In version 12, the slide mesh has substantially more flexibility to work in axial gap motors or in radial gap motors with components in the air gap. Using the slide mesh for these models will increase the analysis speed and improve the overall accuracy. It is also possible to apply a mesh condition to a region. In this example, we are modeling a recording head and we want to make a finer mesh where the head and the plate touch. Previously, we would have had to have set the mesh condition on each of the components, which would have led to a fine mesh across the entire component. Now, we can use a freeform selection tool to select the region of interest and set a finer mesh only in that area, thus reducing the total number of elements we will need, but increasing the accuracy as well at the same time. Another improvement to the mesh functionality is that the nodal force condition can be incorporated into in a sectional analysis. This is this automatically creates an airspace region in the outer circumference of regions for a more accurate nodal force calculation using FEM plus BEM calculations. In previous analyses, we were not able to do this, and thus the accuracy of the analysis would not be as high. But now, with this feature, we can actually run models such as this actuator and get very accurate results. Some of JMEG's circuit features have also been improved. One new feature is the addition of a power source block. Now, you can set the input power of a device instead of setting either the voltage or current input in a frequency response analysis. Another new frequency setting feature is the ability to change input frequencies with time. This allows you to set different frequencies as a function of time in a coupled analysis. In this example, we are examining the thermal response of an induction heating problem. If we use a single frequency, we get a thermal response shown on the left. If, however, we can vary the frequency with time, we will find a much different thermal response that is shown on the right. It is now possible to use subcycling in coupled problems with dramatically different time constants. To use this tool, you select either the magnetic or thermal analysis as the time standard for the coupled analysis, then set the slave study. This means that you can conduct multiple steps in one analysis domain for each single step in the other domain. Speaking of multiple frequency induction heating problems, it is now possible to drive a thermal model with multiple frequencies. This allows you to separate losses from different frequencies and obtain a clearer picture of how each frequency expects, affects the thermal response. When running a coupled analysis, it is now possible to use JMEG's multi-export tool to transfer electromagnetic forces or temperature distributions to third-party software packages. The tool will export results in NASTRAM format that can be run as they are or mapped onto meshes created outside of JMEG where the analysis can be the, then run there. This will be a very powerful tool to help open the, keep, open, keep with consistent with JMEG's open platform principles. That finishes our discussion about the new features in JMEG Designer. Now we can move to some of the new features in JMEG Express. JMEG Express has added many new features and improved on many of the existing features. There are model updates for nearly each, every machine type. You can combine parts from different templates. The optimization function we mentioned earlier has also been added to JMEG Express. We now have a characteristic and result database to allow for better record keeping and we improved the connection to JMEG Designer and its circuit simulator. In JMEG Express, we have updated the permanent magnet synchronous machine, induction machine, and switch reluctance machine templates. You can also now choose a rotor and stator geometry independently. This will give you more freedom when creating your motor geometry. As with JMEG Designer, we have now added an optimi optimization feature in JMEG Express. When working with the sizing function and sensitivity analysis tool, you can now quickly iterate on a design to determine the best settings. Since these tools run in Express, the results are still generated within seconds. Once you have finished the concept design in Express, you can then move the model to JMEG Designer to perform a more in-depth analysis. In JMEG Express, you can still generate results quickly, but previously it was difficult to perfect to track previous designs. Now, JMEG Express adds a database to store results. This makes it much easier to go back and view previous designs. 
As far as individual templates, many improvements have been made. For example, in the Permanent Magnet Synchronous Machine template, we added a magnet eddy current analysis, harmonic iron loss modeling, and torque component separation. In the Induction Machine template, you can now analyze drive characteristics, line start response, and torque characteristics. In Switched Reluctance Machines, you can now analyze inductance in the aligned and unaligned positions, as well as drive and torque characteristics. Along with improving JMAG Express, we also made some significant improvements to JMAG Virtual Test Bench. We added numerous design scenarios that can be applied to your models. These scenarios will be automatically generated and will provide a report displaying the desired results. The database feature allows you to manage these results and search previous models. Perhaps most importantly, we made major improvements to the GUI. This makes JMAG Virtual Test Bench much easier to use and easier to understand. Beyond the predefined scenarios, you can also add or edit your own existing scenario. You can even create basic commands from JMAG's designer script recording functions and apply those to scenarios as well. The end result is a very flexible tool that can be configured to meet your exact needs. There are now more than 70 preset design scenarios available. These scenarios parallel the examples from the Application Notes section of the JMAG International website. In JMAG VTB, you can choose the objective you want to generate results for. For example, I want to investigate the electric field of a transformer. I start by selecting the scenario in Virtual Test Bench and then import my model. At that point, I simply run the scenario and JMAG generates the results and displays them automatically. I can then view the results and store them in the database. When you find a scenario that suits your needs, you can choose to run only a portion of the scenario. This allows you to iterate on a specific parameter without running the complete scenario. JMAG VTB collects all the results in the results dashboard, so we can see the results and settings all together. You can then click on a spe specific result and open JMAG Designer to review that result individually. The database records all the results and makes it very easy to manage and search. You can also reuse past analyses on your new models. I hope you found today's presentation informative. We covered a lot of information and I encourage anyone with questions to contact your local PowerSys office. We're always happy to talk to you. Thank you again.